September 30th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Psalms chapters 107 and 108 from the Old Testament Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His loyal love endures. Let those delivered by the Lord speak out, those whom He delivered from the power of the enemy, and gathered from foreign lands, from east and west, from north and south, they wandered through the wilderness on a desert road. They found no city in which to live. They were hungry and thirsty. They fainted from exhaustion. They cried out to the Lord in their distress. He delivered them from their troubles. He led them on a level road that they might find a city in which to live. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loyal love and for the amazing things he has done for people. For he has satisfied those who thirst, and those who hunger he has filled with food. They sat in utter darkness, bound in painful iron chains, because they had rebelled against God's commands and rejected the instructions of the sovereign king. So he used suffering to humble them. They stumbled, and no one helped them up. They cried out to the Lord in their distress. He delivered them from their troubles. He brought them out of the utter darkness and tore off their shackles. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loyal love and for the amazing things he has done for people. For he shattered the bronze gates and hacked through the iron bars. They acted like fools in their rebellious ways and suffered because of their sins. They lost their appetite for all food and they drew near the gates of death. They cried out to the Lord in their distress. He delivered them from their troubles. He sent them an assuring word and healed them. He rescued them from the pits where they were trapped. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loyal love and for the amazing things he has done for people. Let them present thank offerings and loudly proclaim what he has done. Some traveled on the sea in ships and carried cargo over the vast waters. They witnessed the acts of the Lord, his amazing feats on the deep water. He gave the order for a windstorm and it stirred up the waves of the sea. They reached up to the sky, then dropped into the depths. The sailors' strength left them because the danger was so great. They swayed and staggered like a drunk, and all their skill proved ineffective. They cried out to the Lord in their distress. He delivered them from their troubles. He calmed the storm, and the waves grew silent. The sailors rejoiced because the waves grew quiet, and he led them to the harbor they desired. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loyal love and for the amazing things he has done for people. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people. Let them praise him in the place where the leaders preside. He turned streams into a desert, springs of water into arid land, and a fruitful land into a barren place because of the sin of its inhabitants. As for his people, he turned a desert into a pool of water and a dry land into a springs of water. He allowed the hungry to settle there, and they established a city in which to live. They cultivated fields and planted vineyards, which yielded a harvest of fruit. He blessed them so that they became very numerous. He would not allow their cattle to decrease in number. As for their enemies, they decreased in number and were beaten down because of painful distress and suffering. He would pour contempt upon princes, and he made them wander in a wasteland with no road. Yet he protected the needy from oppression and cared for his families like a flock of sheep. When the godly see this, they rejoice, and every sinner shuts his mouth. Whoever is wise, let him take note of these things. Let them consider the Lord's acts of loyal love. I am determined, O God. I will sing and praise you with my whole heart. Awake, O stringed instrument and harp, I will wake up at dawn. I will give you thanks before the nations, O Lord. I will sing praises to you before foreigners, for your loyal love extends beyond the sky and your faithfulness reaches the clouds. Rise up above the sky, O God. May your splendor cover the whole earth. Deliver by your power and answer me, so that the ones you love may be safe. God has spoken in his sanctuary. I will triumph. I will parcel out Shechem, the valley of Sekoth, I will measure off. Gilead belongs to me, as does Manasseh. Ephraim is my helmet, Judah my royal scepter. 
Moab is my wash basin. I will make Edom serve me. I will shout in triumph over Philistia. Who will lead me into the fortified city? Who will bring me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? O God, you do not go into battle with our enemies. Give us help against the enemy, for any help men might offer is futile. By God's power we will conquer. He will trample down our enemies. God in chapter 107 of Psalms. You show four different groups of people all in trouble, for lack of a better word, all in different situations where they all cry out to you. And in all different four groups of people, you rescue them in a variety of ways. And the underlying message throughout this entire passage is to then remember to give thanks to the person who saved you from that situation, the person who brought you out of darkness, the person that didn't let you suffer, the person that didn't let you be persecuted. And God, all that honor and all that glory needs to go to you. I think sometimes in our arrogance, at least I can say in my arrogance, I come out of a situation and part of it is just relief from being out of the situation. Uh, but part of it is, of course, God saved me because I'm his child. And I truly apologize because sometimes I forget to give you the glory, to give you the honor. When I'm talking to people, one of my favorite things to tell them is, here's what happened and here is what God did. Um, but sometimes I forget. And I think chapter 107 in Psalms is a great reminder that in all things, we are to give thanks and praise to you. Your response to us is consistent. It is always there. And in fact, Psalm 107 actually starts off by saying that. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His loyal love endures. It goes on and on forever. It never leaves us. And so for us to miss that, especially at the end of a, a long journey, whether it's something really troubling for a couple of days or something that's been going on for years, to not stop and give you thanks and praise and all of that glory to you kind of just puts us back at square one again, where we are being disobedient, we're not trusting you, uh, and we arrogantly think that we had something to do with getting out of that situation. God, all praise and glory and honor in my life goes to you. Even when things that go bad in my life, I know that you still have your hands on them and they're only bad to me. In your big picture, they are the best things for what I need to be at right where I am at the moment. In fact, I have a um, saying on my phone from uh, Spurgeon, one of my favorite preachers, that says, remember this, had any other condition been better for you, than the one in which you are, God would have put you there. God, I thank you for your sovereignty in my own life. I know that you're running universes and all this other stuff. And you and I have this intimate relationship that just continues to baffle me and excite me and, and comfort me in all the areas of my life. Thank you for everything in my life. The things I see as, as bad that I know you see as good. The things that I see as good that you know are good for me. Just how well you take care of me in all of those situations and in all things. I just give you the praise for all that you've done in my life. In your son's name I pray. Amen.